journalism in Providence, Rhode Island. And they got a real fuck up review. The critic dogged me out. Everything I said, critics said I wasn't even funny. Said I was, I was fucked. And I wanted to fuck him up today. And I called a newspaper, and he wasn't there. It was like I couldn't. It was a dude named Bob Kerr, and I, I really wanted to kick Bob's ass this morning. And I couldn't. Go. And I know that the critic for uh, Worcester Mass is here. And before you even write your review, in case you like Bob, I just want you to know, suck my dick right now, you know. you mad you know you don't realize when, when entertainers get fucked up reviews that shit you get you want to fuck somebody up man and, and i don't know if the critic the critic here might like me if you if you like me write something good thanks but if not if you could suck on this motherfucker i don't give a fuck and they was talking all this shit about i get old humor and i grab myself too much i'm gonna grab my dick more times than ever tonight you dirty Telling some jokes, get off my fucking back, okay? <laughs> we were in it. We were in Atlanta, Georgia. Great reviews in Atlanta. I met some of Dr. Martin Luther King's family. His family lives down there in Atlanta, Georgia, and I hung out with one of Dr. King's sons. He has a son that looks and walks and talks just like Martin Luther King. And I was in a disco with him, and it was real weird, though, to be in the club and hear Dr. King's voice come out of somebody saying some shit like, I believe if we're lucky, we might get some pussy tonight. Chicago. Did the Oprah Winfrey show. Oprah Winfrey. She went on that. You know what happened? I did the Oprah Winfrey show and she came and she asked me. I got a lot of trouble for this. I, she asked me what my preference was, right? And I said black women, okay? And for the past month, that's, that's the black women said it. That like me, they've been walking up on the street going, I heard you hate white women. And I never said that. I said that my preference was a sister, because I'm a black man. Don't get me wrong. I'll fuck a white girl. <laughs> beauty is beauty. I will pop a dick in one of y'all. I don't think I won't. Just that my preference is a sister, because I'm black. We got more in common. Our background, you know, we got something to talk about after we fuck. We can lay in the bed and go, baby, how you pick your hair? I pick mine. Let's look. <laughs> I ain't got shit to talk about with a white girl. She would be just laying there like this. <sighs> <laughs> then you try to improvise and shit. Like, Remember when y'all used to chase us? jail last week, Sean Penn. He was in jail for beating people up. Always kicking somebody's ass. I wanted them to lock his ass up for a year. Because he was only in for a couple of weeks. And when you a big tough motherfucker like Sean Penn, you should go to a tough prison. He was in the pussy prison. <laughs> Where you have like a living room and all that shit. I wanted him to put his ass in jail so you can see how tough he was. Because he was always beating up photographers and florists and shit like that, you know? You never see like a big black nigga standing going, Sean Penn just beat the shit out of me a few minutes ago. I wanted him to lock him up when he would be confronted by some brothers that would say, Hey, Sean Penn, that's a pretty name, Sean. <laughs> you Madonna's husband, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Hey, I heard you don't like to take pictures, is that true? Really? Mother, get a picture me fucking Sean his ass. You don't mind doing Sean? Like a virgin. <laughs> and Paul just dogged out Michael Jackson was talking about how fucked up Michael Jackson was. And you people were sitting out there laughing at Michael Jackson. Y'all don't like Michael Jackson no more? Y'all was 
so in love with Michael Jackson four years ago. Yo, it was Michael Jackson junkies. Now somebody say Michael Jackson, you say, ooh, ah, crazy nigga, crazy and fucked up. Just cause he does some weird shit like that shit with the bones. <laughs> that, I thought that was a little strange too when he went out and bought the bones. I thought, okay, that's a little strange, the bones. That's strange. But then you gotta put yourself in Michael's position. Michael got more money than most people. You gotta think like Michael. I guess Michael figured, shit, I got everything but them bones. Fuck it, I'm fine. And I don't have anything against surgery, getting surgery done to your face. I just think you should fix it, not fuck your face up. You shouldn't have a video and have people going like, you see his face is all fucked up? But you know, if we realize Michael's face is fucked up, Michael gotta have days where he look in the mirror and say, Ooh. I think I did too much to my face. Mike fight this dude, Larry Holmes, a retired worst athlete in the world. Talk about dude with no sportsmanship. Most boxers lose a fight. You say, you lost a fight. What happened? Mike said, I got to go back to the drawing board and get myself together. You ain't even laughing at me. Larry Holmes lose a fight. You say, what happened, Larry? Larry said, well, I just like to say, fuck you. And, um... Uh, and fuck him too, yeah, you know, he can't fight. And uh, fuck the judges, and fuck everybody in the whole arena. And fuck all my fans, fuck my fans. And, and since we're on HBO, the whole world can suck my motherfucking dick. Cause well, I don't give a fuck. And fuck boxing too. Fuck boxing. Boxing can kick my ass. This big dumb motherfucker made $20 million boxing talking about, fuck boxing. I don't need this shit. I would do commercials. <laughs> now the people at Campbell Soup will let him sell the soup. Here's Larry Holmes for Campbell Soup. Hi, my name is Larry Holmes. I love Campbell Soup. It's a good soup. It's a hot soup. It's a tasty soup. It's a liquid soup. It's a... It's a chunky soup. It's both chunky and liquid at the same time. Don't ask me, I still ain't figured that shit out yet. But damn, that soup is good. And if you don't buy the soup, you can suck my motherfucking dick. I don't give a fuck what kind of soup you eat, motherfucker. Larry Holmes for York Peppermint Patty. Hi, my name is Larry Holmes. When I eat the York Peppermint Patty candy, I get the sensation. <laughs> That's the closest it's gonna get tonight. That I am running through the woods and little children is sprinkling cool water on my butt. And goddamn, that shit feel good. <laughs> Where certain people getting do?